Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Alright, today I am taking care of hunting and how to cook your food afterward once you've managed to catch it. So I can see in the distance over there when you are focusing right on my dot there is a deer and earlier I could see there was a goat right over that way. So we are gonna first take care of the deer because it's actually getting very close to our camp that is just left over there. It'll be easier to drag the meat onto the barbecue. All right. So right now I'm just jogging. I'm hiding right behind it, so he's not gonna hear me. This character has uh, no awareness, but I will also show you one more thing. So this character's got full stealth, so I can get pretty close without it noticing me. And the other thing is, does not have any awareness, but it's still going to let me track this animal. So if I was coming right behind it, or was looking for animal and just focusing, looking around, if I do not see the animals, I could still notice its presence by uh, looking at this. So if you hold your right click button, you will get this type of info. So if you go to examine, it's going to tell you which type of animal it is. And it's going to have different type, as you can see, uh, foot of print. <laughs> Footprint, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what it is called for the animals. It doesn't it not really matter, but and this arrow here is actually telling you which direction it went to. So in between there and there. So we know it's right in front of us. We're just gonna follow it. I've lost him a little bit because it's gone inside the forest. But we can hear it. So my camp is on the left. Alright, it's Going, still going towards that direction, so that's good. We'll get to that camp later on. So my choice of my gun of predilection for hunting is no the crossbow. Used to be the bow, but the crossbow to me is a bit more efficient, just because you only need two bolts. I'm making sure I'm not getting hurt. I'm not. I'm quite light, so I can even jog up to here as long as I am behind. So. I just want to, uh, I would, I could go for the headshot and kill him in one go, but I'm going to first hurt him and make sure that he's getting a bit of distance. The reason for that is I want to show you that the blood right here is going to give you more indi more indication about what's the health of the, the animal that just, you just hurt. So it's heavy bleeding, can have light bleeding. Depending on the animal, you need more, more or less bolt, of course, because they have more or less health. You are striking a bear or a horse. This is going to be a bit different. So it didn't run very far. All right, two crossbow bolts, and it's it's over for him. And all of this gives you all the indication you need to know which direction it last run to, and what's its health condition what type of animal it is, all of this. So tracking, deer, severe bleeding, and this one was heavy bleeding. All right, now, the animals, uh, you have two choices. You, I could have like hit him in the head and uh, then he would have been dead in one hit. That's why I really like the crossbow in comparison to the, the bow. Sometimes the bow doesn't always kill in one hit, even in the head, depending on the strength, of course, of your bow. But I do like the new crossbow. This is graded and has been added. Now, we have two choices. We can use the stone axe or the stone knife. I am going to show you a few differences to why you get more uh, food out of them more than usual. When usually, uh, sometimes you only get uh, uh, two, three pieces of meat or even up to five or seven, depending on the knife that you are using. Let's go ahead. I'm going to use an axe for this one. So always try to use your best knife. So sometimes your knife is going to be into your inventory and you're already going to have your stone knife in your hand. This is what it's going to use. And you really don't want to, that to happen to get the best out of it. I'm going to keep, keep cutting him up. So animal skin at this stage, you only get, uh, it does not matter which knife you are using. I've tried the Bushman, which is meant to be better for skinning and hasn't give me any difference in number of skin. Alright, so we know how the four legs, 
and the buck torso. So I've noticed one thing is that when you cut the legs, you it doesn't matter which uh, knife you are using, you're only gonna get one piece of meat. But I'm, because I am in single player, I'm going to show you uh, some things. All right, I need a buck torso. And I'm going to show you the differences that you get, the amount of meat that you get between the three. All right, so I'm going to cut this one up with a basic rock knife. All right, as you can see, I'm only getting three pieces of meat. This is not a really good knife. Two bones and two fat. Now, if I start using the stone knife on this one, already you are getting one more piece of of meat and you are also getting one more piece of fat so now we are going to go with a different knife we're gonna go with the bushman and then we really go with what is the best item for that and this is going to be the cleaver so let's put this one in our hand cut this one up Already we are now getting five pieces of meat, so it's getting better and better. And the last one, we need one more torso. We need to take this in our hands. Let's leave it there. Let's chop chop. It's also you are gonna notice a lot quicker to cut. Alright, so as you can see, you are now getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven piece of meat and five pieces of, of uh, fat so it's a lot more efficient if you can find a cleaver or even at least a knife a proper knife to cut up your meat than using what you can get out of the world now let's get this all of these it matters for every animals so um, the legs are going to be around the same. Sometimes you're going to be a bit more. I believe the horse may, might give you a little more, but I'm not 100% sure. Bear is the same thing. So, all right. So all every type of big animals. Now, let's get to cooking all of these meats. And I'm going to show you what is I prefer and what I recommend to use. All right, so we are back from our little hunting adventures. So no, I've put three type of meats over here. So we now have uh, the doe steak, the deer steaks right here. I've added a donkey one and as well as the goat. So I do believe the, 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 sorry, the donkey one and the goat is probably the best meat because there is less fat and more protein. As you can see, this is the goat. This is what's the 20 gram of protein per steak and a total fat of only 3.9. If I go and find the donkey the deer first, 12 gram of fat, a little more protein, but the fat is quite a lot. You don't really want to have too much of this. And then if I go for the donkey, the donkey has six, six gram and of fat and 21 gram of protein. So every animal has different, different amount of fat in there. Uh, the goat to me is probably the one of the best. Uh, they, I believe there is others, but we'll keep it to the street for now. There is plenty of animals out there, plenty of things to hunt. You got, just got to be careful not to be hunted by them, like the wolves and the bears. <laughs> or, and the goat can give you a good kick as well as the pig. So be, just be careful when hunting those. All right. Anyway, we are up to cooking now. So you can cook on all of this type of uh fires so you got the bonfires you got the just this top uh rock fire this one fire ring it's called and then you also have the improvised fireplace right here which used to be uh, the very first one ca that came out all right so uh this one has been fueled to the maximum so i've been added uh adding all the small logs to it I do not recommend doing that at all because it gets it to be way too strong and it makes it difficult to cook. But when you have just made 
your uh, firing. This is usually when it's the best uh, and has the best amount of uh, power to cook your steaks. No. I usually prefer to use uh, one of these charcoal skewers and you can find them right here. So all you need to do have is either three long sticks or three small sticks and you can craft these. It takes 30 seconds to craft and then once you have enough, uh, enough meat on you, which is five pieces of meat for this one, then you can craft it and it gi we give you around 20,000 uh, calories. The small skewers are good too. It's going to give you a little less, of course, uh, about 7,000, 7, I believe, if I remember well. You can also cook the skewers and it just cooks the same way. No, I usually prefer to keep, keep it simple. Uh, Metabolism has not been released yet. We are in January 2021. At least uh, we at uh, this stage it has not been released. There are, it's still in the works and I am releasing this video now because I know that a few of you on my stream have been asking me to do so. Uh, asking me how to you could cook every meat. I Sometimes you will see me on my stream hand the animals and just put it on a skewer and just eat it raw because it doesn't matter at this stage uh, for the cooking. It will matter later on. So let's get to it. I'm going to cook a few things and I'm going to show you how. All right, first of all, let's get it started. I'm going to need a lighter. Let's pick it up. Light the fire. So this one, like I was saying, is going to be very difficult to, to do. So I'm going to take one stack. I'm going to place it onto the side of it. And we're going to... So uh, straight away, you can hear it's like making that noise of cooking. This is actually burning if this is too close because it is too strong. So that's why I don't recommend putting anything into the, into this. If you want your fire has gone down in power, I recommend putting small sticks like this, small wooden sticks or even rag stripes on rags if you have them in, into big quantity. Otherwise, the fire of your uh, uh, that you have is going to be too strong too quick. So it is hot and raw currently, so we know it is cooking. So the way to check it, you can check it manually by doing check test like right here. Or you find it into the list, obviously you will have less steaks and you'll be able to just right click and go on check test just the same way. So because it was burning, we should easily find it. I'm going to put myself on this side so I have only this thing. So as you can see, the durability went down. If I go, I'm going to put it closer, this is going to cook quickly, but the durability, this is going to waste your steak very, very quickly. If I check, it's burning, it's still raw, and it's not going to be good. It's going to be very slight, very quickly off. So if I keep leaving it, I will show you. Durability is going down, it's not cooking. It's actually burning and it's telling you after a while because the durability has gone down that is telling you that it's, it is off. Slightly off and then it's, this is not going to give you as much nutrients and this is going to just waste the steak. So if you're keeping doing it, burning. Durability is going down, it's under 50% and it is not spoiled because it is under 50%. So. Always be careful. So as you can see, there is a difference in color. Now. You've got the yellow uh, parts and you cannot eat that or that will probably make you puke and you don't want that to happen. So I'm going to take it, throw this stack away. That did not go very far. <laughs> All right. So this is the reason why you don't want to put uh, have a fire that is too so strong. This one, I only just made it. So this is going to be the right uh, power. Now there's two ways, you can put it on the floor or you can put it on, on the very top of it. So we are going to go ahead and do that, put a few sticks. We're going to select our lighter so we can light the fire. There you go. Now finding the right spot depends on how much or powerful your fire is. So 
It's not an exact science. Just move it around until you find it the right spot. Check the test. It's telling you it's hot and raw, so it is cooking. And that's what you want. You want it to be hot and raw and not have the durability to be going down. So right now it's perf it's perfect. It's hot. This one is only warm, so you need to put it a bit closer right here. So it's not quite in the center. And you keep on shaking like this. And you see that it's going to cook. You're going to see the color of the steak changing slowly. Hot and raw, hot and raw. You can hear that uh, grizzling from the steak. Or it even makes you salivate because it makes you hungry. <laughs> keep on cooking. And we'll check until it tells you that it's gonna, going to say cooked. Well, it's cooking or slightly cooked. It seems that it is saying it is hot and raw, but not quite cooking. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little small uh, wooden stick. I can either keep it in my backpack, select it and go like this. Fuel fire with a small wooden stick, or I can put it in my hand to be a bit more realistic and just fuel the fire that way. So let's put ourselves here so we know we are checking on the right sticks. Durability is not going down, so this is not too hot. And we just keep on shaking. I'm gonna keep on adding some sticks. Until it gets a bit stronger. And keep an eye on the stick as it goes. a few more and the reason for that while it is cooking this thing hot and raw I'm going to craft a skewer so I always do prefer to spawn one to spawn to get one of these and uh, because you get mo a bigger amount of meat into us and it takes less space in your stomach so if you were to eat one of those steaks either raw or cooked it will take a big amount of your space, but if you cook it on a skewer, it's going to be reduced in size by quite a bit. So I'm going to put myself right here. I just want... That was a drop. So we are going to put these five pieces of meat onto the skewer. So these are all five got sticks. Perfect. And all you got to do is craft it that way. And there you go, it's done. Now, cooking it, I'm going to cook it after. At the same time, why not? So, as you can see, the color has no change. Not quite yet. All right, we need a few more sticks. Fine. We are going to take that and add it to the fire. And you keep on doing it until you find that your steaks are no cooking. Gonna add one more. All you want to do is to make sure that this percentage here is not going down because the fire is going to be too strong. All right, so as you can see, it's telling me it is hot and slightly cooked now. So it is properly cooking. These two are not quite yet. That should be soon. Hot and raw. This one is cooking. You will see the color differences. Let's so check them all. They are all telling me that it's cooked. So you can see the difference now with the, the color skin. It's getting a bit more pink. That was quite red before. And we are just going to wait until it tells us that it is cooked. Fully cooked. The hot, slightly like cooked. So you got both visuals and ways to check it manually to see if something is cooking or not. Slightly like cooked. I should take a few more seconds. I need a few more sticks. Check 
like this, hot stuck with cooks. I'm gonna put this one there. This one is hot and raw now. Whilst this thing is slightly cooked, I'm going to put one more stick in there that should do it. Do the trick. This is the reason why I prefer to use the skewers to cook. It is a lot easier. Let's see. All right. Durability is not going down, so we are good. Keep on checking the taste of the stew track. This one is no cooking too. Oh, looks like this is cooked now. Oh, this one. Is this cooked yet? No, hot and slightly cooked. Okay. There we go. Cooked. So straight away, put it in your inventory so it does not cook anymore. This one is looking cooked. This one is cooked too. Alright. So we know I have three cook, perfectly cooked steaks that we can eat. So I, I will show you the amount of volume it takes in the stomach. So if you eat a small st a steak directly like this, this is taking a lot more space in your stomach. This is why the better way to eat and easier so you don't have to eat all the time is to eat one of those big skewers. You can even add uh, these, the spice, the salt, but at this stage it does not do anything, so don't worry too much about it. I believe that cooking is going to be reworked. The way of cooking might not be, or might be. Uh, I believe uh, I heard something about it being used like a mini game, but we will see. So as you can see, it's taking a lot on a lot of space. It's taking an entire steak, it's taking my entire stomach space. No, cooking with a skewers is just this uh, this easy. You just put it close to it and same way you're going to check. This is warm so it's not quite close enough. I'm going to put it closer. There you go. I should do it there. And you can do it near every fire. So you can do it next to the bonfire. It, it does not matter. But this, this is actually too close. It's burning. So you got to be careful of that. See that durability went down quite a lot. It's still going down. It stops. No. All right. You got to be careful. Because you're going to waste it very quickly. Oh, it's already slightly off, as you can see. I did not take it back in time while I was talking about this bonfire. But you can cook near every fire. So you just have to be careful. Keep an eye on it. If you see the durability getting away, just put it away as fast as you can. Or pick it up and go away. And then, again, put it back close. Slowly. Slowly, you check. This is warm, slightly cooked. Well, it is not slightly off, but that would be alright. And keep on checking the taste. If it still stays warm, this is not what we want. We want it to be hot. So slowly we can put it clo closer and closer. Check that the durability is not going down. Check the taste. It's warm. Durability is staying the same. 74%. It is now hot and cooked. So we are ready to eat. Of course, it's a little slightly off, but we'll be alright. But as you can see, my stomach volume is not getting as big. And I'm going to get a lot more calories out of it than uh, I would get out of one single steak. So as you can see, it only took about 10% of my stomach volume in comparison to the, the big steaks. This is... We are, just keep an eye, uh, remember we are in January, so uh, things are meant to be changed. But probably when the motorbikes come up. So keep an eye on that. I will do an update video after that. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. Happy cooking. It's not too, as you can see, it's not complicated. This one is hot, slightly cooked. I'm going to put it a bit more in the middle. And... I will have another steak for later. I've got more meat than I will ever need. Look at those calories. It's going up like crazy. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.